it's been a minute, hasn't it? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tanya Kendall and I like to talk about everything to do with beauty and I absolutely love sheet masks. Today I'm going to be doing a new mask for you so I'm going to tell you about it, I'm going to show you putting it on, um, I'm going to tell you what I feel once I take it off, give you a few details like that and where you can get it and everything like that. Today's mask is going to be by Skin Vitals. I actually have a glow mask here. These retail for $12 at skinvitals.com. Hmm, I'm not sure if it's .com or .com.au, but it'll be here somewhere. You can have a look. Um, I think $12 is fantastic for a mask. This is a two-step system. Um, this particular one that I have is, as I said, it's a glow mask. So it is good for if you're experiencing dullness, uneven tone, or dark spots, which, yeah, sort of, but... I want to give this one a go. Now there are multiple other ones. I will just have a quick look on the website and tell you the other ones that they do have. And they are... I will be trying some of those ones too, so stay tuned for that. They have a control mask, they have a detox mask, they have a firming mask, a light mask, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, a quench mask, I guess that's like a, um, a hydration one, and obviously the glow mask. So I will be trying more of those, definitely. And just to clarify, it's skinvitalsmask.com. So, what can I say? This is a uh, cloth mask. Is that the same as a sheet mask? I would assume so, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that. There's actually two sections here. I'm not sure how this works. So let's have a little bit of a read. It says that uh, step one is an intensive peptide punch anti-aging pre-mask booster. And how do we work that one? So the peptide punch says that, let me see, an intensive multi-peptide serum with powerful anti-aging benefits to intensify cloth mask results. Formulated with a, syn Ooh, this is an interesting word, give me a minute. Synergistic blend of five peptides and five collagen boosters. This concentrated serum promotes skin elasticity, hydration, retention, and overall youthful appearance. Number two, step two is a brightening cloth treatment mask. Obviously, derma delivery of skin. Derma delivery of skin. Em, let's start that again. Derma delivery of skin illuminating. Actives. I don't know what that means, but I am excited to try this. So, let's have a little read on how to do step two. It says, uh, brightening cloth sheet treatment masks. A derma delivery of antioxidants packs a powerful punch for a re-energized luminous complexion. Potent, ooh, I don't like the word potent in my face masks, but okay. Potent ingredients, niacinamide, licorice and... Safflower bud assist to minimize dark spots, boost brightness, and even out skin tone. Radiance and vitality is yours. Like I always say to you guys, I think that you should always put, do a patch test if you've got sensitive skin like me. I do have sensitive skin. I have very, very dry skin. I have messed up quite a lot in the past with not doing patch tests with uh, cosmetics. If you've watched any of my other videos, you would have seen the video that I did. Um, not just cosmetics, but with skincare as well. Mostly skincare, actually. And um, unfortunately, one of the products that I used did break me out, and it took quite some time to actually recover from that. I'll stick a picture here. I guess let's get started. Directions for optimum results: thoroughly cleanse and dry the skin. Squeeze out the peptide punch and apply to the entire face, concentrating on areas of aging concern. Hmm. Well, that would be under my eyes, really. Let me see. Under my eyes, this. Wrinkle? I have, a, I have this line above my eyebrows and it sort of accentuates my eyebrow and this, you know, the frown lines, you know, that's, that's, that's all that, um, you must do your homework. Anyway, um, where were we? Squeeze out the peptide punch, blah blah blah, remove mask from the sachet and carefully unfold. Gently place the mask over the entire face, smooth onto the facial contours with your fingers, relax for 15 minutes or longer. Remove the mask and discard. Any extra serum can be wiped away or gently pressed into the skin. Pressed into the skin, that's a different one. 
Caution, do not apply to inflamed or broken skin. If skin irritation occurs or product gets in your eyes, rinse thoroughly with cold water. Okay, so you can press it into the skin or you can wipe it off. Um, I prefer to leave sort of like masks into the skin, uh, but sometimes some masks have a sticky residue, so it'll be interesting to see what this one does. All right, so let's get started. So, ooh, can you see that? It's like this gel, I can't, I can't show you properly, but it's, it's, it's a very jelly-like, let's just get that on. Whoa, it's very strong. Okay, all right, it's, it's almost watery, like, um, well, how do I explain this? Um, actually, do you know what it feels like? It smells like and uh, going onto the skin? Hand sanitizer. It smells like the, um, the alcohol sanitizer stuff that you would clean your hands with when you rock up to the hospital or some people keep it in their handbags and, all right. Concentrate on the areas that are aging. Right, okay. Alright. Well, there's enough, really, to put it over your entire face without having to worry about just concentrating on the areas that you're worried about. But it is very, very wet. So, um, there's that. I'm trying to get all of this out. I want it all on my face. I'm making this look very, very awkward, aren't I? I do apologise. All right, so that's all of that. Now let's get the mask out. This is the fun part. This is where I look stupid. Like I'm boxing a bunch of balloons trying to get something on my face. Oof. That's in there, isn't it? All right. Okay. Um, oh, okay. It's, 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 it's moist in there too. So it's soaking in its own... Serum. I'm not sure if it's the same serum or not. Just making sure I'm doing it right. Let's. Oh, it's it's it feels delicate. All right, there we go. Look how moist that is. I don't know if you can. That is really soft and gloopy. I feel like I feel like I'm going to accidentally rip the um the mask, guys. It is very very delicate and soft. Oh, oh, it kind of feels like a jellyfish. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. We're finding the holes. Okay, so I've got it sideways by the looks of it. All right. And here we go. Let's get this bad boy on. I think there's a... Unfold. Here we go. Oh no, it's... Uh, alright, alright, let's put it on. We'll fix it up as it's on. Alright. I think I'm going to have to get my little mirror, guys. Because it keeps... It's so moist that it's folding up on itself. Mm. This is drenched um, in comparison to the other masks that I've tried. I mean, they're generally quite wet anyway. But this one... This kind of feels like a, a second skin. I um, I really like this. It's smoothing over the skin beautifully, unlike some of those firmer cloths where you feel like it's just pulling away from the skin when it's too big. This is nice, guys. Yes. All right, it's not too tall. I mean, it's in my hair a little bit, but that's my own fault for not prepping properly. It's sitting on top of my lip nicely. Because, you know, I hate this lip part. I normally cut this off. But this might be the one. This might be the one where I might not have to rip it off, guys. I'm just going to unfold that little bit because I want to utilise every bit of this mask that I can. Hmm. Now, FYI, I generally don't like two-stage um, masks, I, I, you know, having to put something on and then having to put something else on, but that wasn't horrible. Um, sometimes mixing the products um, before, like in the packet, like if, if this had already been pre-mixed with that, it might not have given the same result. I actually don't know, 
but um, this feels quite nice on. It already feels refreshing. I know it doesn't say that it's a refreshing mask, but I'm feeling refreshed vibes. Like, I've got a few favourite um, cloth masks, and this one, this one could be up there with the other two. So, I don't know. I might have to do um, a showdown of uh, sheet masks, I reckon, in the near future. That's a pretty cool video idea, I reckon. Alright, so guys, look. I am going to leave this on for 15 minutes or longer, maybe make a coffee. You know what, I think I could actually probably talk or even drink my coffee with this one in comparison to the other ones. So that's a plus for me. Um, it doesn't feel like it's falling off. Yeah, no, it's not. The other masks were already coming away from my skin, even though they were really saturated. I really am liking this one. So I'm going to go away for 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and um, we'll take it off and I'll tell you what I think. Alright guys, welcome back. So it's been 20 minutes. It said that I could leave it on for 15 minutes or longer. I've actually left it on for 20. It is the most comfortable sheet mask I've ever worn. That is the first bonus. Um, the second bonus is, is it doesn't have like um, a really obnoxious sort of smell. Like some um, sheet masks are so obnoxious that you, you almost don't want them to be on your face for too long. Um, this mask, I have felt a slight warming sort of sensation, but nothing um, to make me feel concerned or anything like that. Like, not necessarily like that tingling. I, I can feel something happening, and um, I don't feel like it's a, it's a bad something. So, um, I've been able to talk. This bit didn't annoy me. Um, I mean, it's pretty much stayed still most of the time. I mean, it's starting to lose a little bit of um, its stick now because it's been on for a while. But still, I mean, this is like a glove on my face. Um, it's definitely the best performing when uh, sticking to the face mask that I've ever tried. Um, let's get it off and see what happens now. For anybody that hasn't seen any of my videos, if I'm going to react to something, you will see it. Like, there's, there's going to be no denying it. It's going to be red, it'll be blotchy. Um, I didn't do a patch test. What can I say? I, I forget. I tell you guys all to do patch tests, but you know what? I don't mind being your little personal guinea pig, so that's what I'm here for. So, let's pull this off and see how we go. I don't know why I half expect to see something on the other side. I always look at it, you know. Um, it's still drenched. Like, I could go another round of this. Um, obviously, I wouldn't. But let me have a look for myself. Alright. So, can you see just a slight bit of redness here? Now, I'm not going to say that um, it's, it's sort of bad. Because sometimes my skin, it doesn't like something. Alright, alright, freeze frame guys. What I have to tell you is, is that a few minutes after I took the mask off, that pinkness went away, there was no irritation, and the next day, my skin was so, so soft. If you have sensitive skin and you want to try this, I do suggest patch, patch testing first, just in case, but honestly, I'm not mad at all. I love this mask, and I am definitely, definitely going to try the other ones from their ranges, so... Yeah, wow. Alright, back to the video. Just ignore me carrying on about any more pink patchiness. Nothing feels bad. I mean, I'm going to rub this in. Oh, sorry. Press it in. Do you know what? There is so much product on the face after you take this off. I, I'm not really sure how they expect you to press it in. You're not going to press this in. I really don't like wiping product off my face, it's supposed to benefit, but in this case I do think that I'm going to have to um, blot it at least. Um, it feels really nice, like even though I do have some pinkness there, like I don't have any um, any bad irritation or anything like that. Uh, I'm actually really curious now to try all of the other masks. Um, my skin feels fantastic, I'm trying not to rub it in because it said press. Have you heard of that before? Have you ever heard a mask tell you to press the product in? I'm not digging that, so I'm going to wipe it off. Alright guys, it's all dabbed off I guess, or pressed in, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm sure you can probably see the reaction that I've had. Now, 
Besides that, if you don't have sensitive skin, I would try this mask out for yourself. Um, if you're a little bit more cautious, look, I suffer from eczema. Um, I have dehydrated skin as well as dry skin. I have very, very sensitive skin. I don't have any open cuts or anything like that. Um, I didn't have any um, moisturizers on um, since the night before. And it is, what time is it now? I don't even know. And it's uh, nine o'clock. So it's been, it's been pretty much 24 hours before I last put on any moisturizers or anything like that. So it shouldn't be clashing with anything that I've had put on my skin. Um, I, before I put this on, I just cleansed with um, warm water, no products or anything like that because I didn't want it to affect anything that could have been in there. Um, as I said, it's not sore or anything like that. I think that it's just my skin going, hey, there's a new product, what is this? I say this to a lot of things that feel like, you know, that sheet mask sort of stuff, but it really does feel really, really refreshing, like, it's almost like a crisp winter morning, you know, when you, you step out and then all of a sudden your face is just like that really, really cool, but a good cool, that's what it feels like, and it feels very, very soft. I don't know whether, um... It's done anything for any dullness or um, spots or anything like that. That's probably one of those things that you would see over time, so I can't really comment on that. But what I do, I do love the way the mask went on. I do love the way that it felt. Um, it does have a smell. It is a chemical type of smell, but it's not obnoxious in your face. The price is pretty well, you know. Um, I guess if I was going to pick any sort of pet peeve other than the fact that I've broken out a little bit, which is just generally because of my skin um, concerns, I would say that I would like it to be, you know, easier to get a hold of uh, other than just at the skinvitalsmask.com. I would love to see it in somewhere like Priceline or um, Chemist Warehouse because that would make me buy them more often so I really do want to try those other ones and I probably will try those other ones especially that quench one I think that one's got my name on it next so I'll let you know down below look the, the pinkness is starting to go away already so I'm really not concerned I love this mask um if it wasn't for this pink pinkness here um that I'm a little tiny tiny bit concerned about I would actually probably rate this my favorite um out of the three that I rate right up here. But because I do have a little bit of irritation with this, um, I'm going to put it equal first with the Garnier um, Hydra Bomb. So, um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Give it a go, guys. See how you go. Let me know. Have you tried it before? I would love to know what you think about it. Um, have you tried the other ones? Can you let me know? Like, Give me a comment down below. I would love to be chatting with you guys. If you'd like to follow any of my other videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Um, don't forget to check the bell though, because if you don't check the bell, you won't get notifications of every time that I post. Um, and yeah, give us a shout out, you know, let us know that you've been here. Um, give us a thumbs up, help us let everybody else know about uh, Skin Vitals. I think they're a fantastic group. Thanks guys for sticking around and um, yeah, I hope you got something out of this and um, Feel free to come back and watch any of my other videos. Alright, take it easy guys. Bye.